Hello, welcome back to Mark's Garden UK at Rose Cottage near Nantwich in Cheshire. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick update on Bay Tree Rescue. Now, if you saw the original video, which I published almost exactly one month ago today, you'll know that it was all about bringing these two bay trees back to life. One over there and one here. That one wasn't quite as bad as this one. Now, these two bay trees uh, have been donated to me by a neighbour and they've had these for many, many years in pots and they were outside their back door. Sadly, they were hit really, really badly by the frost this winter. And I think that was complicated slightly by the fact that they were in a frost pocket outside that back door. And they never really got above freezing or several degrees below freezing for over a week. And it really, really hit them hard. And I've seen this with a lot of bay trees this year. So what I decided to do was try and bring them back to life repotted them, took a lot of the old soil away, repotted them in some lovely new fresh compost, fed the compost, and I've also pruned them right back. That one has not been pruned quite as much as this one. In fact, this one, if I stand behind it, you can see there's not much leaf matter there at all. But that was deliberate because I'm confident that these are going to come back to life. Whilst I'm over here, let me tell you about a couple of other experiments that I've got on the go. I published um, a video in the last week called olive tree rescue. I bought this olive tree from the hospital bay of a garden centre in Shropshire and actually both myself and the person that sold it to me knew that there was nothing really wrong with it, it just wasn't very pretty. Again repotted it, gave it some lovely new soil, took away a lot of the excess growth and we're waiting on that one and I'm pretty sure that in a month's time that will be springing back to life but I'll give you an update on that another time. Down here there's two more little olive trees, quite tiny ones but this one here is the subject of my video extreme pruning experiment where I'm actually trying to kill it. I've taken virtually all the leaves off it. I've left one leaf there just for good measure, but we'll see what happens with that. It's not showing any signs of life just yet, but we will see. We're just going to see just how robust these olive trees are. You can find that video on my channel. I'll put a link to both these two videos at the end of this one, but let me get back to the bay tree because I've got some very, very exciting news to show you. Uh, if a bay tree can be that exciting, that is. I'm going to bring the camera in a bit closer so that you can see what I can see. And it's evidence of the power of nature to recover. Let me get the camera. Now from here, it's not looking good. In fact, it's looking very sad and very sorry. But let, let's get in close and personal now and let's see at the minute detail of these stems and see if we can see anything. Now there is still some green growth on here so a plant I think it's pretty obvious it's not truly dead uh, but is there any sign of any recovery on the branches that I pruned well let's get in and have a look let me show you this behind my finger there can you see that behind my finger there is a leaf and behind behind my other fingers there there are more leaf buds I'm trying to get the camera to focus in it's not that easy but leaf buds there where my thumb is, and there, and there, and I will show you more. There's another one here. And then let's go and look at some woody growth, and we'll see if there's any leaf buds coming out of woody growth. And look here. Look at this here. Around about where my finger is. This is old wood, this is hard wood. And yet look, it's sprouting little fresh branches and leaves here, right down here at the base. So that is new growth and new life, and that will grow out and fill this space here where there is light. There, look. I'm going to find some more. Let's go a little bit further down into the older wood. Look there. There, yeah, look. A lovely fresh green sprout coming out of this quite old wood. Brilliant. And the same is true all over this plant. I will find some more just to prove the point that this bush is far from dead. And I think in a few weeks time with light and heat and feed and water, the ingredients for life in a plant, we will see lots of fresh growth. There's another bit there on that branch. And then moving down here, there's more on there. And in here, loads of little buds coming out all around the place and all I've done really is repot it, give it a hard prune, give it some food, make sure it's got good drainage, position it where it's light and where it will get the maximum amount of heat from the sun 
and already within a month this is starting to come back to life and if you want to see how well it does you'll have to subscribe and hit the notifications bell and I will give you lots more updates on this and I'm hoping that by the end of the summer this has come back in some way to its original form which is a lovely kind of standard ball a little bit like this one if we look at like this one from the back you can see there this has got a great big chunk missing from it on one side and I've positioned the chunk in the exposed position here where it will get light and heat and we'll go in on this one and we'll see if there's any buds forming on this one and here they are just below where I pruned you can see growth there where my thumb is and again further down the stem and the same is true of this one lots of lovely growth I'm confident that that will be a nice ball on top of a beautiful plaited stem look at these stems aren't they amazing these are years old and look at the lichen that's formed on this isn't that amazing wonderful so there we go three little experiments in one video olive tree olive tree and bay tree and the exciting news is that the bay tree is bursting back into life join me soon probably in another month or so when i'll give you another update and then in about 12 months when i've got 12 updates i'll do a time lapse and we will see this grow before our eyes hope that's been interesting and entertaining see you soon for some more bay tree adventures bye for now